Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the grills. So pretty much in the instructions, it shows it says that um, after removing the the factory grill, um, we're going to place this grill over this one right here, as you can see. Um, the only thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to paint this black because I don't really care for the chrome. But it's um, your option, your opinion of how you want it. In my case, I'm going to leave it chrome until uh, um, I buy the, the uh, maybe plastic dip it or buy an aftermarket um, grill that's already black. And um, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do that. Um, we're going to mount it on here. And then I'm going to get the bolts that go on here. And then bolt this on, on the grill. And I'm going to show you the before and after, how they look. So right now, I have this removed. So let me um, screw this on here, and then I'll show you guys the rest. So I grabbed those little washer bolts, not the washer bolts, the thread bolts. I put them on all three hoses right here. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, mount it on here and adjust it. So let me do that. Let me do this part and then um, I'll get back to you. Okay, there's a, a flaw in this um, grill, but like um, like they say, if it's custom, you have to do mana, um, some custom um, things to it. So I was trying to set down the grill on here, but as you can see, the the thread nuts are hitting the plastic piece right here see so i cannot set the grill on here on, on i cannot set the um the mesh grill onto the factory grill because the bolts back there are hitting the the grill the grill's hitting the grill <laughs> so there's a gap so it's keeping it up so let me show you what i'm talking about See? So the only way to do this on this one is pretty much I have to drill a hole onto the factory grill. Just three little holes so these bolts could go in there and sit in place. In my case, um, I don't mind I do not mind doing this, so I'm going to drill the holes onto the, the original grill. Because no matter what, I'm gonna buy at, um, some aftermarket grills anyways but um i'm just gonna drill the holes so i can show you guys what i'm talking about so right now i set the grill how how i wanted it push pressure so it could make some marks right here where i'm gonna drill the holes so it's gonna be three little holes and then let me do that and then i'll get back to you guys so i just got done drilling the holes so now you can see it, it fits so in this case, um, um, let me see. The bolts are right here. In this case, I'm not gonna be using the bottom one because when I put it back in here, there's not gonna be no way of getting that um, bolt, getting this in here. And then uh, if I put this in here, right here, this grill is not going to be able to go if I bolt this right back in here right now this grill is not going to be able to um, go back into place because it's going to be um, in the way but I'll be able to get these two on top and I think it should be fine but it's not going to be perfect so if you do buy this grill set you're still going to have to customize it so it's going to be considered a custom grill. So in, the, so in this case, I'm going to have to, um, in the instructions it says um, drilling is not required, but there was a flaw in the, in the making of this grill. I know on the, on here it says, um, 
it's for um an 0, 06 to 07 um 520 um uh, 325i slash through 330 um i um three series uh, mine's a 328i um it shouldn't make um i don't think it's a difference but if there is uh, let me know if you guys do purchase this grill because maybe the grill is made a little differently where this um this kit is meant to be um put on easily without um dr no drills maybe this is made differently but most likely it's not but um it's just a small um little um holes that you have to make and um you're not going to be using this bottom bolt you're going to just be using these two bolts so once i slap this back in here i'm going to have to put these these bolts and then this washer this washer kit from the back from the back the same way i um took the grills off i will have access down here to the back of the of those bolts and then i'm going to slap it on to the back of the the bumper and the mesh grill so let me slap this on here and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about okay um i already set the two washers down here i was talking about um so what i learned in this experience all i have to do is just drill two holes on top the bottom one's not necessary because the bolt and the washer does not reach it's not long enough so down here i do, I do not need to drill a hole um so i did drill a hole up here and up here and put the the washer and then that bolt so it locked it in place right now let me turn on the light and then i'll uh, and i'll show you what i'm talking about they're not tightened yet i'm gonna tighten them right now okay let me show you what i'm talking about so there's that one right there and then the other one's over there okay and um one other thing um i did had a drill drill a hole through the the bumper so once i set this um uh, this plate um this grill plate back in place um this bolt was not going through because the bumper has a little plastic well there's still uh, some plastic of the bumper covering it so i just drilled another hole right here through the bumper so these um thread um bolts can go, go through so that's another thing that to take into consideration that you would have to drill two holes in and through the bumper as well but they shouldn't be that noticeable if you ever feel like taking off this grill as long as you don't drill the hole down here you should be fine but drilling the holes up here and through the bumper um it shouldn't be noticeable if you want to remove this so I'm gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna show you guys a before and after. Here's the after look. Now it looks like with the two grills on. Um, down here, I end up drilling the hole just because it, it makes it harder for this to come out. Like right now, it pushes it in there. On this one, um, it could have been a little lower, but I could adjust it later. Um, so it keeps the grill in place even though there's not a bolt back there. It's holding on the two bolts on top but That's fine So that's how it looks like afterwards, but later on when um, I get the aftermarket grills Or I can just take off the original the original ones and this chrome plate. I can just um, uh, Put plastic dip But I'm just gonna buy them already um, gloss black on the edges so it can just be all blacked out so that's how it looks like afterwards let me know what you guys think and um and i'll get back to you guys